Hello and welcome to live web phone call and chat support system part 2. I am Kamran Vajdani and in this video we will build the support box UI and we will set up a couple of more things. But before starting as usual if you have not subscribed to my watch me code youtube channel please subscribe and click the bell icon and if you have not liked the watch me code page then please like or follow the facebook page well yesterday or in the last video we have set up the conversation action buttons that is call and chat and we have a sport box UI whenever you click on one of this, these buttons the sport box UI slides in and if you click on hide it just slides out let's continue with the sport box UI slides out do, 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 do. First of all, let's go to core.js and I have just noticed that if we reload and click one of these buttons, the support box slides in and then we click hide, it slides out. But when we click one more time, the support box just not this bit, uh, sorry, uh, does not slide in. To fix this, we have to unmount this support box whenever it slides out. So, first of all, we need to call to do, do, do. just a minute um, okay uh, well inside the Zeus support box we have hide button and when the hide button calls itself it just slides out to x400 duration we need to call complete callback method and let's call react dom dot unmount component at node and let's call document dot get element by id and we need to include the id that we are generating and that is underscore underscore those box underscore 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 those box underscore underscore let's save if we go back to localhost and if we quickly open the developer tools by pressing control shift and i and let's reload now we need to check if we are at least mounting and unmounting the component inside this zeus box let's click on button and now we have the Zeus box component mounted and when we click hide the Zeus box component just unmounted itself 
let's click one more time and now we have our zoom live score back now the slide in slide out and the mount unmount component thing is working perfectly great let's move forward now we need to add the sandbox div class name and let's call it those footer and inside those footer let's add a abs for position absolute and that is inside props.css dot abs position absolute go back to core.js and let's include an input type text value is empty and let's quickly add constructor props and we need to use the small letter and let's call super props and we need to declare this dot state equals an object and let's add send text to null now we need to include the state value inside this value we will call self dot state dot send text now we need to include class name and let's call it this send text we need to add font n and I guess we have not created the font and class we will add it later let's create it well let's add and we will create it and let's just close the input tag we need to add the sizes CSS that is s14 for font size 14 pixels and we need to add dot font n oops font b and we need to add font l now we need to go to fonts.google.com and i have already selected the open sans font family you can either search or let's uh, or you can directly google it now I have added it to download list inside customize I'll select extra bold 800 semi bold 600 regular 400 and light 300 great go back to embed and let's simply copy the CSS link and paste inside index.php and now we need we can use font family open sans or sans area let's copy and go back to props and inside font n paste it. we need to include font family oops sorry font weight to normal we need to copy and paste but use bold this time and lighter this time great now save it go back to core.js now we can include s14 for font size and font n and it will include open sans font with font weight to normal we need to include a button and let's add a class name of this icon and let's go to our icon set click on selection And inside selection we need to add the send button let's quickly search send now go back to generate font and let it generate the new style sheet URL copy 
and replace inside index.php. Save it. Great. Go back to home. And now we have this paper plan icon. Let's call it paper plan and call it send button. Let's give it a title of send. Now go back to core and we need to include those dash box, those dash footer and inside those dot footer we have those send text and we have Sorry, I was taking a call. Let's continue. Okay, we need to add those send button and we will add a hover state and we will add a disabled state as well. And let's replace send button with those send button. Well, I guess we need to simply use without prefix instead save and let's go back to our local host and just reload click on button and we have our footer right here right click inspect and let's first of all select this footer and we will simply add bottom zero pixels left zero pixel right zero pixels and we will add border top to one pixel DDD solid well leave it for now now we need to select the input type text let's add width 100% and we need to add box sizing to border box and it will make it grow or shrink right inside its parent and that is those dash footer now we need to simply type a couple of characters let's add padding of 10 pixels and i guess we need to add the abs to button real quickly so it should not disturb the input text and let's reduce the padding to let's say 8 pixels and remove the border by adding border 0 pixels now we need to add the border back now as we are using border radius of 5 pixels to our those box we need to add the border radius to input as well but instead of adding on all of sides we will we will use border radius top left to 0, top right to 0 pixel, bottom right to 5 pixels and bottom left to 5 pixels. Great. Now we need to copy the CSS, go back to core.css, copy, paste and save and we need to 
quickly add abs to send button now let's select the button and add top 0 right 0 bottom 0 and width of 4 is good use font size um, 20 and add border to 0 pixels and background to a lighter shade of gray okay um well and i think we should use the circular background instead so let's add five from top five from right and five from bottom and uh, use well add a border radius of five pixels great now we need to add the RGBA opacity to zero and we will use color to for example blue or actually we will use the button background that is RGBA 0112255 let's paste it great now copy and paste inside source button and that is send button save now we need to add a shift of color when we will hover the mouse copy and paste inside hover now we need to add the disable state right click or state and uh, I guess we don't have the disable. Let's go to core.js and simply let's remove and add the ending tag right here. Add the disable property, and inside disable property, we will check self.state.send text equals null, and it will be true, otherwise, it will be false. We can simply use this equal statement save reload and let's click one more time and now we have oops I guess I have forgot to copy the juice footer that's why I keep copying and pasting and saving CSS let's add one more time bottom to zero left to zero right to zero border top to one pixel DDD solid and add a background of white now we need to add border radius top left zero top right zero bottom right to five and bottom left to five pixels now we need to copy and let's paste quickly we need to add the placeholder so that we should at least check what's going on let's add type message dot 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 reload now let's click on the icon or button and now we have a nice input box we need to add input and add outline to none we should include text area select a couple of more now reload click and now we have no outline whenever we focus our input well I have to move the placeholder to input instead save and reload click on button and now we have type message right here now we need to add the disable thing on our send button right click inspect select the button and now we are inside disable state let's change the color to lighter shade
copy paste inside the disable and now we need to add button disable and cursor should be auto reload click one more time and now we have no pointer cursor when button is disabled but we need to update when we start typing let's say we type hey there the send button should remove the disable property go back to core and add on keep up console.log a dot value for example let's reload click on button go to console and test now we are having undefined or something like that now we need to include target dot value actually reload click type and now we have our value right here but we need to update the value self dot set state and the state should be send text e dot target dot value but we need to need to check if the value is empty which we should check e dot value equals empty then the value should be null otherwise we, should, we will use the e dot target dot value save and reload click and we have the updated text right inside our input but when we remove the input oops it is giving some kind of error warning well let's use instead of on key up key up let's use on change and let's remove the uh, on change e set state and all that good save reload now if we click and start typing we have our text and when we remove the send button will be switch to disable now simply add an in class for those button and to add a smooth animation between disable and enable type remove type remove great we need to change a couple of more things And let's add instead of directly amp null we need to add the amplitude string let's check self dot state or send text equals null add simply amplitude string otherwise we will add self dot state dot send text reload now the warning is gone <coughs> sorry and let's type again hey there hello there and now we have no error at all great
now we need to add one more thing if we select input and add the padding to let's say 12 is good and now we need to change the padding to 12 from all sides to avoid the right side let's use 12 12 12 and 12 but instead we will if we go um, move our mouse on input you can see the green outside border which shows the padding we have top right and increase the right padding to something like 52 now copy the padding and paste inside code or CSS save reload and if we type we have the padding right before the input button great now we need to add chat bubbles let's create it quickly we will add a class and call it bubble or maybe chat bubble with an arrow method and oops my bad I'm wondering why my mind is thinking something other than this code well class chat bubble extends react dot component render return and inside return we will add div class name bubble rel and we will include the list null or an empty array now let's go back to render and we need to include underscore list to empty array let's run a loop for var i equals 0 i less than 4 i plus plus and let's push list dot push and we will use the chat bubble class chat bubble and we will add a key of bubble dash plus i for now now we need to include one more div div class name and let's call it um chat list or those chat list or maybe keep it short those chat add abs and include underscore list right here now let's go back to core.css and add those dashbox those dash chat and inside chat we have bubble from this chat bubble class now if we go to bubbles and reload we need to click on button one more time and now we have a couple of bubbles right inside or those chat bubble 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 now select those chat <coughs> and add top zero left zero right zero and bottom to zero add a background of dark gray and now we need to add 50 from top and forty five from bottom and I'll remove the background color or maybe we should well keep it white for now. We will add a couple of color settings from admin panel later. Now select those chat and paste and save. And now we need to 
add a couple of more things inside our bubble. We have div class name and let's call it message or chat item and inside chat item let's add a text hey there da 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 use font n s14 and save it now let's reload and right after reload click on the button one more time and now we have our chat bubble we need to include the chat item css inside core or maybe we should use a more precise class and call it chat meta great we need to add chat meta before let's save it and reload click and now we have bubble inspect and select the chat matter oops I guess I have not included reload one more time click right click inspect chat matter why it is not appearing oh it is bubble bubble and bubble reload click right click and inspect and we have chat matter great now we need to add background of for example blue or let's use our theme color that is a different tone and let's add color to fff and use display to inline block but instead of hard coding we have props ibl display inline block let's add inside chat meta ibl or i guess we should use one more class or div class name equals chat text font and s14 and keep the text inside this chat text now we need to replace the chat meta to chat text and we need to add chat text as well save now copy and i guess i have not added the ibl class save and reload and after reload click right click inspect select the chat text and paste great now we need to add padding to 10 pixels and 12 pixels and add border radius to something like 20 pixels and let's change the padding to 6 pixels and 15 is good now we need to copy and add to chat text and save save go back to localhost and select the chat meta or bubble and let's add a padding of 10 or maybe 3 is good and from horizontal we will add a 10 pixels or 16 15 is good and we will add um well it is good for now copy the padding paste inside bubble and we are good to go now we need to check 
by reloading and click on button and now we have our chat bubbles but we need to add please give me a couple of hours let's select the chat text go back to core.js inside before let's add content and empty string now we need to reload one more time click right click inspect and now we need to select the before thing and let's add width 0 height 0 border 10 pixels blue solid border right 7 pixel blue solid and border bottom to 7 pixels blue solid add position absolute bottom to 0 and left to 0 now let's change the color of border to 0 opacity and add blue border to bubble text color uh, background color and now we need to, to reduce the size to something like seven seven and seven good now let's add the rel class to our chat text to keep the bubble arrow inside and now we need to add bottom zero and left to something like negative eight select the chat text and change border radius to top right bottom and bottom left to zero great now select back before and change left to negative 5 good or maybe negative 6 is good let's copy the content of before go to core.css and save we need to copy chat text padding uh, bar radius and replace inside chat text save and now we need to go back to core.js and add rel class save and reload click on the button now we have chat bubble ready to use now we need to add or select the zoo chat and add padding 10 and 10 and instead of uh, 20 for vertical and 10 for horizontal let's add overflow x hidden overflow y auto now we need to copy and replace the css inside core.css those chat save and reload now we have chat bubble now let's add Well, I guess this is it for now. I have to go somewhere and need to terminate this session. And in next session, we will simply um, call up and ask for let's go deal my secure paper or store. Well, I didn't. Um, Christian.
can't understand okay this is it for this video and in next video we will continue adding this for UI box and before leaving I need to request one more time if you have not liked my Facebook page please like or follow and if you have not subscribed to your channel please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive updates goodbye